Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 45 that says jump game 2. So here we are given a uh, zero index integer array nums where nums of i represent the maximum length you can make a forward jump from that index i. Uh, so let's say if you are at here at index 1 but where nums of i equal to 3 so you can jump from, uh, from here this position to next uh, uh, to the maximum of length 3. So to a position of a maximum of length 3. So you can take a um, jump length of minimum as well. Means, let's, means from 3 you can either jump to this one or this one or this 4. But maximum you can take 4 because uh, the maximum length is 3. Correct? So yeah, this is what nums of i represent. And now we need to reach uh, the last element. That is nums of n minus 1 uh, and in the minimum number of jumps. So here we will return uh, the minimum number of jumps required to reach the last uh, element. Okay. So yeah, now let's move on to the test cases. But before that, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. So uh, taking about the test cases, see, let us here, this is the first case. So let us try to visualize this. So let's say what is the initial, initially you are at present, um, present at uh, the starting index that is index zero. Uh, at uh, 2 yeah okay this element so from here what are your options you can jump to 3 or 1 okay because the length is of 2 so let's say you jump from 2 to 3 okay and now after jumping 3 what you have the valid option 1 comma 1 comma 4 and here the second case would be if you have jumped from 2 to 1 so what are, what was the valid case after this one valid jump would be 1 this adjacent one, right? That is at index uh, 3. Okay. Now, so uh, now if you can jump, you can take a jump from 2 to 3 to 1, or means this one, or you can take a jump from 2, 3, 1, this one, or you can take a jump from uh, 2, 3 to this 4, the ending, right? And similarly, here also you have options like 2, 1, uh, 1, means here only you have one option because of this right and now as you can see that you have choices like this you can either take this one or take this one yeah, also if you have two uh, if you have means if you can jump initially to two next forward position then you have choices like either to jump here or to jump here so based on these choices what you can see you can see you can form a decision tree right decision tree right and based on this decision tree uh, you, what you can do you can write recursive plus memoirs code and what would be the time complexity the time complexity it would be big of n square okay and yeah here the n is 10 to the power 4 so you can write uh, this code right recursive plus uh, memoirs code but wait a minute is this necessary can we write the code something in that uh, is big of n right is it possible because this is uh, not a good approach you can think of a better approach than this something that is big o of n and big o of 1 because this is also uh, this space complexity is big o of n square here also because of memorization so if we need to think something that is big o of n and big o of 1 uh, because see yeah this is one valid solution because as you are seeing that we have choices and from these choices we can make a choice diagram and based on that choice diagram we can write a recursive code and further we can memorize it but now we will think of some better approach see here this is the case 2 3 1 1 4 so what you can think is you can think of trying to make a maximum jump from the current position okay let's think of this that so let's say you have this is the current position so from this current position what maximum jump you can take see their choices are these two are your choices either you go to nums of i uh, that is 3 or you this so if you go to 3 and then from here what uh, where from till uh, how much you can go see i will also again write this index and uh, let me just erase this okay so here you can make a jump from uh, means here this value is 2 so and current index is 0 so you can jump up to two steps right 0 plus 2 right now here you can take 1 plus 3 okay and here you can take 2 plus 1 okay got it the 2 is the index that's current index and plus 1 jump okay so now after these you have two choices this or this what is the answer of this this answer is 4 and this answer is 3 so what is better this 4 is better correct 
it's uh, it's uh, visible that if you jump here then you can uh, you will reach to index 4 maximum index 4 and if you jump here then you can reach only to maximum index 3 right so based on this what you will take we will take maximum number of jumps right and uh, and from here this is the first jump and after you you can from here you can jump to here as well here as well and here as well 4 is the maximum number of index you can reach after this but yeah as you can see we will take the maximum index right and the 4 is our destination destination index so here you can reach our destination index in two jumps okay now let us uh, think of this approach with this example so so let's say initially you are at index 0 let me write it here 2 3 0 1 4 so initially you are at index 0 so from index 0 how much you can travel you can uh, you can go up to maximum of uh, two uh, two position right this is the first pos uh, this is the first position this is second position okay now let's say if you have somehow reached this first position then how much you can travel you can travel up from 1 to 4 1 to 3 that is the fourth position and from here you will you won't be able to travel anywhere uh, ahead okay now you have currently you have these two choices right from this two you have two choices what you will do you will take the maximum this okay from here so from here you can directly jump to this fourth index is sounds easy right so our jump would be from uh, from this two to three two uh, let me write in this in the terms of index so our jump would be from zero index to one index to fourth index right okay so i hope you got this that we are trying to make maximum number of jumps but wait a second if you have something like this let's say let me write this again nine one 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 and four so let's say so till now what we were doing is we were trying to make maximum number of jumps that is possible the maximum uh, the farthest jump that, that is possible we are we were trying to make correct so let's say you are at initial index uh, zero index so from this zero index how much you can travel you can travel up to second index so yeah uh, you have these two choices currently you have these two choices so from the here how much you can travel 1 plus 3 that is fourth index you can travel and here you can travel up to 2 plus 9 it is 11th index what what we were choosing we were choosing the maximum okay but now after you are new to, so now the question arises in your mind that if a, if, a, if a frog will jump the 11th jump but there is nothing after 7 means there is nothing after 7 then uh, is it valid to take this yes of course because we can travel up to less than equal to 11 right we can travel from this 3 to 11 right 3 to 11 wherever so what we will do this frog will travel up to the last right up to this element correct so i hope you got the uh, got this that how we, this approach works that we will take the maximum or the farthest possible distance from the valid answer and we will travel so let's say in this case only in this case only you have some more elements like 3 2 1 3 2 uh, 8 9 10 11 12 so if you can travel till 11 so now from 3 to 11 these are the valid possible choices that you can make okay so now what we will do that uh, these are the valid possible choices so uh, le what we will do we will again calculate how far we can go from here we can go 3 plus 1 here we can go 4 plus 1 here we can go 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 plus 4 8 plus 3 9 plus 2 so this is how we will calculate that how far this we can go from the choices that we have these are the valid choices we can have uh, from this element right and from that element we will take that is the maximum okay so let's say here 11 plus 3 is the maximum then we will take uh, we will arrive here we will take a jump from till the end yeah right so our jump would be from 0 index to 2 index to 11 index to 12 index so thus three jumps this first second and third three jumps will reach to n so i hope you guys understood this that if we have something beyond this let's say 11 plus 3 is 15 but we won't jump up to 15 we will jump only till the last up uh, beyond that uh, uh, there is no meaning right there is nothing also so yeah this way uh, the solution works that by taking the farthest possible distance we can jump we will take that and try to uh, and from that uh, we will try to make all the choices we have and from that choices we will take farthest distance so what is this how you will approach it so this is a greedy approach so to so approach to approach this question what we will maintain we will maintain the maximum distance possible max 
distance possible right and for with the help of this maximum distance we will try to go as far as possible so yeah you will understand this code more clearly once we try to write it down so now let's quickly move on to the coding part okay now before that uh, coding part uh, let me also show you the approach here so this is the dynamic uh, programming approach where we take um, well let's say the t is the destination and and between this destination we will try to make a maximum jump uh, minimum number of jump with the maximum farthest distance we will do we are doing this so this is recursive plus memorization approach but here currently let's try to code this in a better way uh, with the help of a greedy solution okay so let me initialize one uh, total jumps uh, variable to zero and to size of this nums array nums dot size and uh, let me take one, uh, two variables like current end uh, that is the maximum distance that we can reach from the current position and maximum far we can go from the current position okay now we will traverse from i equals to zero up till n n to i plus plus now we will update current far so this current far stores the maximum distance we can reach uh, okay current far comma i plus nums of i okay and now if r equals to current end and r is not equal to n minus 1 that means let's say if we have reached uh, the last element then yeah then we don't need to do anything right we don't need to um, make any other further jump but in the else condition we simply make jumps total jumps plus plus right and we will update this current end to current far so let me just brief you once again what is this current far and this current end so uh, let's say we are at here we are at this nine uh this nine so this is our current end now after this current end what we can we can with current far current far is maximum of previous current far and the new i plus nums of i right this is maximum of current far plus i plus nums of i so current let's say current far from here the current far was this was the current end and the current far was how much this 11 11 position right that is 9 plus 2 11 it was previously 9 plus 2 so it was 11 right now we will check if 3 plus 1 and uh, and this 11 which is when greater this so similarly we will find a better solution here at the 11 position where it would be 11 plus 3 15 so what we at this time our current far which will uh, the current far will change to 15 correct and our i equals to i equals to current end so our when whenever the i equals to current end we have to we have to make a further jump right we have to for make further jump so we increase the total jump plus plus and in this condition we updated our current end to current far so current far is now so sorry now the current end after this is 15 current end equals to current far that is 15 at this position right this is what simply we are doing okay so uh, and in the end what we will do we will simply return total jumps okay so now let me try to run this mm. okay i wrote max far let me name it as current far okay the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this so yeah as you can see guys our code got accepted uh, and now talking about the time and scale space complexity See the time complexity here is big of n as we are traversing all n elements and the space complexity is big of 1 because we are not storing anything. So yeah, this is much better approach than that recursive plus memorization approach. Uh, so yeah, I, th I hope you guys understood uh, the approach uh, how we are doing that. What is this current for current end uh, and uh, also the coding part and yeah, I hope you guys how we are building this intuition that why what to take uh, we, we have to take the elements from the choices that is that we can reach the maximum distance like the farthest distance so yeah the, that's all for this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel also keep a note that uh, do check out the community section on timely basis where i am posting the job opportunities so yeah you can uh, visit the community section and check out uh, if any of your upward if any of the opportunities matches with your profile so yeah uh, that's all from my side today make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't Thank you.